Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Awesome Music. Wait, no. Welcome to Fakania 3 Shadows of Riva. We are in the Mage's Tower who abducts pure little doggies and cats and stuff. You don't do that, that's horrible. Pure animals. But we are exploring a bit. We just killed some bandits. And ooh, what's this? There's a wooden dog figurine on the table. Apart from that, it's empty. It doesn't have any dwarves either. Do you take the dog figurine? Yes. Why not? A chest with a key. Very good. What do cards? Nice. Uh, put key on. Yes. Nothing in the bed. An extremely clean bedstead with a straw mattress. Hmm. Let me... Good. Alright. Drinking horn, brandy, tableware. Hmm. The table is large enough for 12 people. Well, we killed 7, 8, plus the steward, plus the mage. Hmm. That wall was erected long after the tower was originally built, the class we can robot after examining the smooth brickwork. Can we smash it with a hammer? That's what I would do. Ooh. Dead white leaves on the table. Oof, we have everything we need. We have a metal. We have a shovel, a hammer, a rope, I saw somewhere, has it got a rope? Oh yes, he has a rope. Nope, we don't need it. Guys. They are. He has three wakes on the wreck. No use for weapon at all, just leave them. That's another way. A line of his curiosity makes him open one of the bags. It's <laughs> it's full of horse manure, he says with some amazement. <gasps> oh, horse amour, whatever that is. I guess it's horse shit? I don't know. I'm pretty sure somebody would tell me. Uh, yeah, Ooh. What a strange luck! Lady Gilvan marvels and examines the peculiarly shaped keyhole closer. Um, yes. Hi. The... Uh, dog figurine. Hey! The head of this dog figurine fits the lock exactly. A little way calls out, puts the figurine into the keyhole and turns it just like a key. Smart. Uh, we can do this later. <coughs> Haven't explored here yet. Hold on, Renoir says. That looks looks just like. You see, Swerve pulls out a key and opens the lock, just as I thought. And then he says with obvious satisfaction. Uh huh? Store room. Ninety rations. Three sharks. There are three sharks in here. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> licorice. I hate licorice. I hate it with a passion. 
wine bottles. How much wine and brandy and alcohol is in this place? Jesus. There's neither wood nor coal in the fireplace. But despite this, a fire burns there and heating a metal coal will above it. Okay. Nothing we need. They are cut off fish heads, fish bones, cabot leaves, and wood waste on the table. A bloodied knife rests beside them. Do you want to take the knife along? No. I would have want a knife. You are standing in front of a dark fireplace with a chimney hole in the wall above. There must have been a fire going on just a short while ago since the bricks are still warm. The runaway takes a small bunch of wood and pokes around in the ashes but doesn't find anything. Hmm. There's a tub of water on a uh, small pedestal with an old dirty shirt next to it. Feel like, take, feel like taking the shirt. No. Uh, no there's water. No. Okay, I guess we uh, go to the this place. I'm pretty bad with map reading. I kind of lost a lot of map reading skills. I was usually better at that. Uh. So we have to leave someone behind. By turning the winch, the cage is moved up and down. Do you want anybody to stay here to turn the winch? Yes. Lady Gilbert, I'm sorry, but your combat abilities aren't that great. There's only room for one. Oh, the local, you can go. Oh, the local gives Lady Gilbert, who is waiting at the winch, a hand signal. Um, Lady Gilbert engages the winch, which moves the narrator with a loud groaning sound. Elder Loco is barely left as strange lives when he hears clattering steps echoing around the corner. With a mixture of foreboding and curiosity, he waits to see who might be approaching. At first he only sees two strange blue points of light, but then the gruesome truth becomes obvious. A skeleton arms a sword is coming straight at him. Two blue diamonds are sparking the eye sockets of its skull. Okay. You can do it! Kill it! Kill it faster! Ooh, 17 damage, that's a lot. Good! Take the two blue diamonds. You don't need a sword. After the local catches his breath. <laughs> After all the local catches his dress, she informs the waiting companions. What the fuck happened there? These are hauled up on another time. Yeah, we have to leave Lady Gulvin down there because one has to move the winch. And I'm not sure if you can get everyone up here. It's kind of sad since she will lose a lot of experience, but oh well. Tough shit. Of the magician, second level. A skull girdle, take it. Document, take it. Magic potion, take it. What is this document? Nurse Rubel Rubel Reye Soth. No. Power five. 
then pretty sure Nors Dribble Dribble Reihe Saus Hm Ah, red, blue, green, blue, gray, right, oh dear. We will figure this out later. What's this? Hmm. Let's go this way first. Well, wait. <laughs> I really like this music. I don't know why, but I like it. Um, so. When you enter the musty smelling room, some figures step on the walls. They are skeletons. One of them has eye sockets that gleam with a green light. I don't feel that comfortable here. Uh, Let's attack the skeleton warriors. So everybody is in position. Almost. Did get the elves out of there? So long, suckers. Okay, my two tanks are keeping the skeletons busy, so the elves can attack from safety. Let's pick out one at a time, and we should be happy. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> I was really looking forward to the auto combat, but considering the fights in here are not that random, uh, it doesn't really matter to me. It just pisses me off when I have to fight the same three harpy fight for the tenth time, like in the last game. I think I can do computer combat. Jingle. Whoop. Yay! Nobody died. Awesome. We take the two reds. Uh, green stones with us. Um, how's your... Need more points. Let me check. And so, oh. 
When you enter the room, the musty smelling room, some figures a step from the walls. At the far end of the room are sarcophagus containing an upright standing human opened and a mummy comes out. The other figures wearing wacker class skeletons. One you notice has eye sockets with, that gleam with a red light. Eleanor Way is, is in such a state of shock from seeing this undead that he is rooted to the spot. See. Wait. <laughs> Cast spell, combat, lightning. I kinda need to block this pass somehow, but alas, I hope we can. As I can somehow lure the skeleton to there. Did my weapon just break? Again? Wait a second, now we can block the pass. Block, block, cast spell, combat, lightning, block it. <laughs> Change weapon to a sort okay. <laughs> this is a very female sounding mummy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's. You expect something different from a mummy? I think. So you kill this way skeleton in here. What kind of attack was that? It just whirled around, like, Whoa, I'm a mummy! Look at me! <laughs> Going wee! Wait. Oh well. Full men Blind the mummy! Lined it good. We can dare. In Kenda. Whoa. A very female sounding mummy. So let's kill the skeleton warriors. And let it be Faxus. Good, I think we can do auto combat. We <coughs> take take uh, yes. That would have to be a sarcophagus, says the twin robot. I've heard about those. Lords and ladies are buried in them. Some were even embalmed and wrapped in sheets before they were put in one of these. Can I take... You totally ruined my tactic. Me? What is this? There's an ugly statue there, much bigger than anybody in the party. Its head and upper body are dog-like. Only the lower half of the body looks human. It speaks with a frightening voice. Six. That's just word. Eleanor steps up to the statue and strikes it repeatedly with the metal. At first, only some tiny cracks appear, but then, after some more blows, the entire statue falls apart with an eerie sound. 